As the storm approaches in New York City, Valley transplants brace themselves for the worst. They had bands that were driving around our neighborhood with big speaker horns just saying that you need to uh, evacuate from your area. So uh, we did yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. This is Clovis native Denver Casado's first hurricane. He says it's been very frightening for he and his wife. They're staying at a friend's apartment after being evacuated. He says the winds are so strong, the building shakes and calling the streets of New York City eerie. So there was definitely a sense of a franticness. Um, and but now I feel like everyone's kind of indoors. Everyone's pretty safe. You know, everyone's most buildings are on levels, so there's not a whole lot of danger of um, flooding inside the actual apartment. For another Clovis native, Christy Mansfield, she wasn't evacuated until after our interview. But during our chat, the power was going in and out. We're hitting that point, you know, where the storm is just getting really, really bad. So bad, officials are now worried about the aftermath of Sandy, the damage it will cause. PG&E is sending 150 electric personnel to New York City to help restore power once the storm is over. That we're able to send a crew that could do repairs here can just as easily do repairs in New York City. The equipment is all very similar.